Hey guys, how's it going? So we're going to uh, do this geometric, uh, geometric construction question. Okay, so um, I'm doing it on a landscape paper, but then I normally actually have to do it on a on a paper on just you know normal orientation. So I'm doing it on a uh, landscape paper. So uh, just an overview. This one's the chord set squares. Okay, so you don't use them really, but if you want to use them here in construction, you use them to verify uh, perpendicular bisectors. This one is um, it's it's a protractor, so you don't use it to construct angles, but you use it to measure angles. Okay, the the uh, instrument that you actually use to uh, construct angles is this one. Okay, so this one, and then this one is just your ruler. You probably know it, and then you have uh, the dividers. Sometimes you don't use them uh so yeah so that's it so the, the question the question here it says um construct a triangle abc in which ab it's equal to seven centimeters bac the angle it's equal to 45 degrees uh bc is equal to eight uh, centimeters okay so you're given that information and then you're asked to construct that uh, the triangle so what you do is try to do a sketch first so normally ab whenever you they use ab normally ab is uh you use it as a baseline it's quite easy that way okay so and then you're you're told that uh, abc is equal to 45 so this one here uh, this angle must be 45 okay so you don't know where c leads so let's say c stops here and then you're also told that uh, bc is equal to is equal to eight centimeters okay so given all this information here and uh you, you're asked to uh, find the, the the to construct this triangle here so uh, the baseline here we actually know the length that's seven centimeters as well okay so let's start so the baseline we can use a b as is our base so a b it's equal to seven centimeters so what we do is um we'll actually do greater than seven centimeters so i actually do maybe 10 or 11 or something like that okay so yeah that's it so this one will be our baseline so we need uh, to mark point a so you can mark point a anywhere I advise you to always leave some leeway here uh, so that you may be able to construct maybe you want to construct a perpendicular bisector or anything like that it'd be easier for you and then you need to measure seven centimeters okay so that you can uh, know where point uh, b is so here this is our ruler and what you do is uh, you come here and then you're seeking seven centimeters so it'd be the spot here okay so i always use the edge because the edge it's it's more accurate for me that way so what i would do is that i'll go onto my point a as this one here and then scribe an arc okay so this is my point a this is my point b okay so i need to construct this 45 uh, centimeters there so i adjust my compass so that i can have uh, two arcs okay so i can have one arc one arc here my strategy is i'm going to construct uh 90 degrees first so which is perpendicular bisector to this line and then afterwards i'm going to bisect that line okay that's my strategy so here i scribe an arc i scribe another arc here the reason you want you actually get two two points from from this from this two arcs okay the reason you want two points is that if uh, you make any mistake in your adjustment then you can you can spot it if you have three points because remember the point a it's also included okay so what i do is that i place my my ruler and once i place my ruler i check to see whether my the tip of my pencil is actually resting onto the onto the line there okay so here ideally it'd be it'd be going up a little bit too much uh, too much as well so this one is 90 degrees if you want you can verify it using uh, your set square here okay so this one would be 90 degrees here it's perfectly resting on this uh, set square which is a good thing okay so uh, now we need to bisect again so 90 divided by by two you get uh, you get you get 45 okay so that's what you're looking for so here i'm going to scribe another another arc and uh this arc here starting from here crossing here okay so yeah so i adjust my compass okay so whenever you 
you're doing either 45 or 90 degrees always remember to adjust your compass okay it's um it's good that way so that uh whatever arcs that you construct they will meet okay so here okay so i'm going to come here and here i actually risked uh, not, not having my my two points meet here so they're actually meeting now and here i also have to make another one okay so your your, your compass is very delicate Make sure that it's tightly fixed and you know it's it's not it's not moving. So you make sure of that before you even enter the exam. Okay, so this one would be a 45, and it's crossing straight, uh, you know, through my points. So this one, my my point here, and uh, also my point here. It's not perfect. Okay, so one of these. So I'll we'll just go with this this one here. So, but then ideally it's supposed to cross your, your three points here, here, and, and here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to construct my 45 degrees here, going there. Okay, so this one will be your, your 45 degrees. And uh, well, what you need to do, then the next part is uh, you need to, since you know uh, BC here, it's eight centimeters, you actually need to uh describe the locus that represents that that represent uh bc okay so eight centimeters so it's be from here to mm, it's actually the the span of your of your compass the maximum span of your compass interestingly so yeah so you go on b here and then you do the, the locus for the for the point C. Okay, so this one we actually have to extend. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that uh, my line is just right so that I don't change the Okay, okay, so this one would be my my point C. So I'm going to join it with this one. I test the tip of my of my pencil. It's meeting. Okay, so this is good. So this one would be would be my point C. Okay. You don't have to, to put a, a dent here. They all know. Okay, so that's it. And uh so this this one is essentially it. If you want, you can also level seven centimeters this one is eight centimeters uh so that when you're revising you can always check oh is it really eight yeah it's really eight is it really seven uh yeah it's really seven is it really 45 and uh you go there and you check so yeah it's really 45 okay so yeah we're doing good and you asked you construct the the locus of points uh equidistant from from b and c so points equidistant from b and c there's a there's a b and c b and c they are points okay so points equidistant from uh b and c uh what this simply means is you want you you want your perpendicular bisector okay so it'd be like this you go on to uh one of the points and if you want you can actually nudge it down a little bit okay so that you'll be able to construct also for the side because remember you need you need two points you need uh to construct a bisector you need uh two points so it'd be one on this side and then another on this side here okay so and then you go on to the other side then you get this idea and then this idea okay so be mindful of your of your intersections so here this one this one so this part this part oh it's going good so i construct okay so this 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 is the locus of my of my points okay so you, you're not given to label or anything so it's just fine just like this and then you're asked to construct the locus of points five centimeters from from c so uh, you have to measure five centimeters locus of uh, points uh a, a certain distance from from a point it has to be a it has to be a circle okay so 
it will be just a circle with that radius so if you want five centimeters from a certain point then you have to do a circle with that radius okay so it'd be like this here and this like this like this okay such that it's a it's a circle okay so this is five centimeter uh circle radius circle okay so and then the the next part you you asked you are you told that i point r is in in triangle abc such that it's nearer to b than c okay so it's nearer to b than c po locus of points nearer to b than c it's remember our perpendicular bisector it uh, marks the points equidistance from from b and c so near to b it has to be the side here okay below the, the perpendicular bisector and uh you're you're told that uh you know, the point is nearer to b than c and is five centimeters from c so and uh is uh is less than five centimeters from c okay so the locus of those points would be this so you asked you actually show it by shading okay so it's uh, less than five centimeters from C, but it's also nearer to B than to C. Okay, so this is this would be uh, point R or region R, region that represents those points. And then you're asked that you measure the and write down the size of A, B, C. Okay, so A, B, C. So here I put my protractor and what you notice here is that there's a baseline on the protractor. I want the baseline to uh, be on the, on the, to cover the, the line, the line uh, a B okay so it's over the line a B right now I cannot see the light line beneath which means that it's over and then there are two scales here there is one scale going from uh, here going this direction and then there's also one going from here going in this direction so clockwise and anti-clockwise okay so here we are measuring as this one is our zero mark because we want to measure this angle inside here so we'll be using the upper the upper um, a gradation okay so the upper markings so for the upper markings this one will be 90 this one will be um 95 this one will be 96 okay so it's actually 96 so this one would be would be 96 okay so you, you actually have to uh write it down somewhere let's see 96 degrees okay so you just just verify i want you to do the same question i'll i'll, I'll put the um question and then i want you to verify and then you tell me what you what you got but essentially this is it okay so uh, we'll continue with uh, the rest of the paper in uh, later videos okay thanks so much for watching make sure you share like and subscribe yuba out